Hello, chess lovers. Solon here, and after a short break, want to share with you another Blitz game from 1978, Tal vs. Kasparov friendly Blitz match. This is game 10, and we have an equality. Both players have four and a half points. In game 10, Kasparov had white pieces, and he opened up with e4, to which Tal answered with e5. Bishop b5, Rui Lopez is on the board. Morphy defense, knight f6, white castled, bishop e7, rook e1, b5. Of course, all this is a standard stuff seen many times. And after c3, Tal went for razor sharp martial attack. As you know, it was Frank Marshall who used it as a prepared variation against Jose Raul Capablanca in 1918, but Capablanca managed to make things complicated and even managed to beat Marshall. Uh, looks like that. Still, I haven't published that game on my channel. Probably we should also take a look at that nice historical game. Um, I would rather say an important historical game. So in this line, in Marshall attack, Black is sacrificing a pawn but is getting a really active peace play and uh, is managing to organize a nice kingside attack. As you can see, uh, at this point, white, his, white has fallen behind in development and uh, that's something which gives black compensation. Uh, bishop d5 is not the most popular move. Uh, d4, d3 or even rook e1 are more popular. d4 is the most common move, but in the game we see bishop takes d5. Uh, d4, bishop d6, rook e3, queen h4, yeah. Now black is trying to make use of his powerful bishop here. And I have to tell you that Tal is pretty much familiar with this position. Earlier in 1965, he had this position with the white pieces against Boris Spassky. Yeah, twice uh, he had this position against Spassky and both games ended in a draw. Needless to say that this martial attack requires a huge theoretical knowledge. Uh, meanwhile, white is trying to complete the queenside development. Rook e8, an exchange of rooks on e8 followed. Knight f3 and the queens are also gone. Uh, Black has a slight initiative, but all in all we have an equality. Let's not forget that white has an uh, extra pawn. Meanwhile, black is trying to create problems for white. Yeah, black has a slight initiative, but still white is holding. Knight f1, bishop c4, a4, rook c2. Uh, although bishop takes c3 is pretty much playable, in the game we see rook c2 and knight g3. An inaccuracy by Kasparov which is allowing black to gain advantage. Playing g5 and then bishop takes g5 is better. The knight uh, on f1 is more useful, you can put it on e3. Uh, instead Kasparov played knight g3, he wants to bring the knight on f5. Knight f5, bishop e2. Looks like that at this point already the players were in a serious time trouble and they are starting to make mistakes one after another. Uh, rook a3 is stronger coming after the pawn on a4. Uh, instead uh, we see bishop e2 hitting both on d1 and g4. Knight e7 check, king f7, knight takes d5. A severe mistake by Kasparov. And now the strange thing is that Tal is not winning the rook. This is just a free piece, you know, guys. How could Tal make a mistake like this? This is just crushing. Instead, he's playing a rook c2. Uh, well, if this was an online match, I could understand. I would have said that Tal just pre-moved, but how on earth in here he could miss bishop takes d1? Yeah, very, very strange. Uh, yes, I can understand that this is a blitz game, but uh, Tal was very strong in blitz and this is just an amateurish mistake. Sorry, of course, for that, but yeah, that's very strange. So the rooks are also gone and at this point, again, we have an equality. White is trying to make use of his a-pawn, but uh, these black bishops are controlling... Uh, uh, all possible squares, yeah, they are, they are really very strong. And now, uh, this time, it's Tal who is going for a very strange line. 
and then he's playing bishop takes f3 which is losing but strangely at this point Kasparov is not capturing on f3 and he's not playing a6 now it's Kasparov who is winning instead Kasparov is playing king d3 and again equality is on the board and after a few more moves uh, yeah at this point the players agree to draw let me tell you that what is interesting even Nikitin misses king takes f3 in his book yeah even Nikitin missed this line uh, instead we see king d3 and yeah at this point we have a total equality the players agreed to a draw okay you can just move back your bishop on it and uh, this is a drawish I guess the players had just only a few seconds on the clock and uh, they decided not to test each other's speed uh, so 5-5 five, five. I mean, a game which was full of mistakes yeah very strange mistakes and in one of my upcoming videos uh, we will cover uh, the next four games as well in the end the chess puzzle for you a simple one where the task is to win with the black pieces as usual we'll wait for your answer in the comment section thanks for watching we'll see you in my next video take care